property came through here, had a foot of water in this shop, truck was laid out on the ground and it, it totaled it out. So. Cody Reynolds, I'm from Beaumont, Texas. I'm in the truck club uh, committed. Well, I have six rides. Uh, basically, all of them are something's done to them. I mean, I there five of them, four of them are bag. Uh, hold on, let me count them. Yeah, four of them are bag. Uh, I just lowered my F-150 because I'm just tired of being in the nosebleed section with it. So I just put a little drop kit on it. Uh, I got a 53 Bel Air. I just bagged, put on the ground. I got a 64 Biscayne, just bag. I got this van, and then I have my 2002 F350 Dually that I pull everything with. Uh, I got my dad's van behind me that eventually I need to get to and start working on it. Uh, I'm gonna actually build it like he wanted to build it, uh, and. I got motorcycles. <laughs> Basically growing up, my dad always had some kind of, to me, a cool ride or a custom ride. He, I mean, he's had, first one I remember is, is he's always had vans anywhere from 65, 66 vans like my brother's got. He's had the 68 vans like what's behind me. That's it, that was actually his van. He's had 64 Impala, 66 Cadillac, Coupe DeVille, 46, I mean, he's had all kind of custom rides. So the vehicles was always there. He's always in the garage tinkering with stuff. We was always out there helping. I mean, he built a 46 Chevy, like kind of like what my brother's got now that he's working on. He built it in the, in the garage, painted it, everything. I mean, it was, it, vehicles have always been there growing up from, you know, since I was a baby and all the way up to, you know, now. So, the 89, GMC S15. It was a, uh, my dad got it when I was 15. It was, it was a rollover and we, we fixed it up, painted it, it was bright canary yellow. And then me and my brother lowered it. It was, you couldn't run over a Coke can on its side. The roughest damn thing I ever rode into my life. Broke three bell housings. I think two exhaust manifolds is how bad it's somebody rode, but it, it was, it was low for being static. I guess the one of the trucks that influenced me to go to the next step on my S10 when I had it was Kent Ladner's S10 he had. And that, that thing there was a truck that made me want to go to the next next level level with mine. I mean that truck was so damn clean. AC heat, 19s and 20s bag body. That was probably the S10 that got me wanting to go to the next level. And then they, I don't remember the damn truck. It was a Mitsubishi Mighty Max. That was in Mini Trucking Magazine, probably 2000. I, that truck there, I don't even remember much about it. I mean, other, I mean, it was maroon with a little bit of graphics on the hood. I don't remember who owned it or nothing, but that was another truck that made me fall in love with the body maxes and a D50. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I had that 89 and then I ended up getting a 2000 or a 98, I'm sorry, S10. And uh, yeah, it was already bagged. I think Underground Customs bagged it. I bought it from some guy and uh, Guy Williams, I think is his name, out of uh, Dickinson, Texas. I bought the truck from him. It was red, had silver flames on it. And uh, that was my first bag vehicle. And then it just, you know, once I got that truck is when I just really started moving along, getting into really wanting to build a show truck and, and going to the next level with it. Uh, body dropped it, put different wheels in. Man, I painted that damn truck like five different times. I had five different sets of wheels on it. I had that truck for 18 years. I had it and then uh harvey came through here had a foot of water in this shop truck was laid out on the ground and it it totaled it out so uh, that was basically that truck right there is what really got me into the, the show scene i've always had lower trucks but never you know i didn't go to the my first show was 
heat wave in 2000 and I brought that truck. And ever since then, it's just been fucking just hauling ass with it, you know, from there. So. Well, man, the vans is like my dad's, that was his passion. He, he had vans since he was in the early 70s. And we, I remember he had a little swing set. And we had a 76 Chevy van like this, and he had a little, the little bouncy swing set, and he hung it off the, the roof, and that's where I rode as a little kid. And I remember riding, I and mean, we always was in a van. He'd always, every weekend, it seemed like we would go to a truck in, kind of like the camping shows that we do now, but it was nothing but vans. And uh, I mean, it, we'd go at least at least once a month, it seemed like. We'd, we'd go to a truck in, and uh, basically just snowballed into the trucks. And then I just kind of wanted to build a van to bring it back to the roots that I was, you know, known girl you know just was around in the 80s i just wanted to bring it back to, to my roots basically uh basically i got this van i don't know five years ago six years ago and started building it uh we ended up getting a donor van here locally um me and my brother and my dad pulled the motor out we uh ended up going through the motor putting a cam in it getting it all just going through the motor, making sure everything was good. The motor only had 13,000 miles on it. So we ended up using that drive train out of that van in this. My dad actually helped me put the uh, motor in the van. He helped me do some of the air ride on it. And then uh, he, he had cancer for, since 09 and it started getting bad in 15. And uh, October, Halloween basically, October 31st, I think, uh, 2016. He ended up passing away and uh after that i just you know the, the van was white it was just a driver it wasn't nothing special it was special to me but it wasn't nothing nice looking it was just something cool and after he passed i wanted i just wanted to finish it dedication to him kind of you know just i just wanted to dedicate the van to him so i wanted to go all out finish the whole van and uh that's basically where where it's at now all the sayings and the graphics on this van, uh, his words and sayings he said to us growing up as kids, saying he he would say it to my my son, to his grandson. I mean, it's just you know it. It's just a big. The whole van is just dedicated to him. I mean, it's just the, the graphics, the words on the doors. It's got my dad's on the driver's side, my mom on the passenger side. something you know i can't i can't have nothing in stock i mean it's, i gotta have something done to it i just i mean i'll finish like i just finished my van and instead of enjoying it i wanted to start it on this 53. i mean i still got a little bit i need to finish on this and i'm already wanting to start something else because it's right there at it uh I'll, I'll, i'm really looking into buying another mini because i'm missing a mini like crazy i've so ever since I lost my S10, I, man, I just I want another mini truck. So I'm looking now. So probably in the next couple of weeks, I'll probably have a mini truck and then I'll bag it and just have a cool little driver. And I ain't gonna do nothing crazy with it, but I just want something. I just want another mini. It's pretty addicting.